point this was news with the Power Sister Horsies this week. We have news about rats with Dark Knight's Nightmare and Blue Horse. Our first story is a video of a rat that looks like he's showering for work. How's that a new story? I showered before I came in today. Not everyone showers, least of all rats. I showered before I came in today. Cheddar, you're a mouse, not a rat. But Ivan, aren't they the same thing? How can you not know this? Rats are bigger and they have big teeth. They burrow into things. So like, mouse football players? They're too smart for that. We can hear you in the newsroom. Sound by Ivan Z. Cheese. I'm switching us off. Can we just have some footage of the rat? That's adorable. Right. Here to comment is our resident science person, Frank Podiatrist Foot. Why, hello, Dark Nice Nightmare. I'm so happy to be here. You're Podiatrist? No, that's just my middle name. So why is the rat showering? First off, that's not a rat. It's not. If you would zoom in, you'd notice this animal has no tail. And the fact that it's standing on two feet means that it can't really be a rat. So what is it then? It's a pacarana. A piranha? That's crazy. It doesn't have fins. It's not chomping on someone's delicious face. Not a piranha, which is a predatory fish. A pacarana. It's a South American rodent. They grow up to 31 inches and can be as big as 33 pounds. That's one big rat. Not large enough to run for office, but certainly a big enough rodent to sell used cars and get a law degree. So why is he showering? He's not. The pacarana is just trying to get the soap off. How the soap got on that animal, that's the real question. The pacarana is probably irritated by the soap and just trying to wipe it off. That, that, that's fascinating! Our next story involves giant rodents found in California. Um, do I go now? Can you tell us about these other big rats? They're called nutria or koipu. They look like beavers with rat tails. Great. You don't go until the end of the story because you get paid every time you show up. Um, okay, well, the nutria were brought to California from South America by fur farmers. Fur farmers? How do you get the fur to ground the ground? I'm not sure you're old enough to know about fur farming. So why are these big rats a big concern? They're voracious herbivorous eaters. They can wipe out aquatic vegetation. Your pond won't look very good after it gets infested with koi poo. So what should people in California do if they see a big beaver with a rat tail? Wildlife officials are asking anyone who sees this animal to report it at once. Now what I like to do is roast them over an open fire. A little koi poo barbecue. What are those things called again? Nutria? No, no, the other name. Koi poo. Isn't a koi a fish? Um, yes. Think of it this way. A koi poo can get up to two feet long, not counting the tail, and weigh as much as 20 pounds. If that jumps into your pond, it's sure to make your koi poo. <laughs> Frank Podiatra's foot, everyone. Stay tuned for one more story. But first, a word from its sponsor. This doesn't look anything like a picture on the menu. Well, of course it doesn't. Most of the pictures on menus are all plastic food. I can't eat plastic. It gets worse. They use white glue for milk and cereal ads and motor oil for syrup. That sounds awful. How do I see pictures of real food? Yes, if you want to see real food that was really eaten by Richard, go to richardreviewseverything.blogspot.com where you can see food as it is supposed to be eaten. Everything from coffee to breakfast cereal marketed to gay men who like to dress as pirates with food often in balanced meals, Richard Reviews Everything is informative and real. Link in the description. And we're back with It Sometime This Was News with the Power Sister Horsies. This time, we're talking about rodents that aren't rats. Now, back with your hosts, Dark Nice Nightmare and Blue Horse. Our last story of the night is about one big orange rat. Back in January of 2018, an offensive tweet came out about Donald Trump's daughter, Tiffany. I usually don't even notice my other daughter Tiffany, but last night she wore a really hot skin tight dress that really got my attention. <laughs> Ivanka was so jealous. Here to comment is our own Russian weightlifting enthusiast and secret agent Vladimir. Yes, dark nice nightmare. I'm happy to be here. So what do you think of the tweet? It's an obvious forgery. Donald Trump would never remember the name of his youngest daughter. Also, it wasn't tweeted from Donald Trump's Twitter account. 
I mean, this story is really fake news? Yes, and I'm surprised anyone fell for it. Donald Trump could never remember that girl's name. She may have honestly thought her name was the other one for years. That's our show, everyone. Good night.